First of all, welcome uh, to be here in Misano. Uh, we have with us uh, Mauro Monfredini, who is marketing manager of Italy. Why did you decide to present this new truck, electric truck, in Misano? Why? In a truck racing environment? Hi, Generico. Uh, yes, we decided to present here uh, because it's a really important appointment. First of all, the truck in Misano, and then also for uh, Innovation Camp. This is the first edition for Innovation Camp, and uh, it's an international appointment. And then we want to present to the international audience and the European audience. Is, is our first uh, um, edition, the first uh, uh, truck, electric truck, that will be uh, the first for the uh, uh, next generation of, of our e-truck. There are different uh, alternative powertrain solutions. Why DAF decide to go fully electric? Yes, DAF decided to go, to go directly to the electric range because the uh, European community decided that the CO2 free zone is only compliant with the electric powerful. So the DAF decided to go uh, directly and develop since three years. This is the second generation of our trucks. And then also, as, as you know uh, very well, also we have the hydrogen one. So DAF decided to go uh, first with the electric one and the second step with the hydrogen. So. Electric is uh, uh, the decision of DAF because we want to compliance in a hundred percent with a, a CO2 free zone in a, a main important cities in Europe. You decide to present to your potential customer in Italy this electric truck. What obstacles do you face in introducing this truck in the Italian market? Uh, you know, Generico, we are presenting now. We have a, a sort of small tour in Italy, uh, starting last week, and then we present uh, uh, to the small audience, interesting audience, as, um, to our this truck with a ride and drive, eh, a sort of ride and drive. People are really interested, but the uh, the problem that they have uh, is not the, the, the price. Eh, could be the, it should be the price, but it's not the price. But it's the infrastructure. I mean, in Italy we have uh, a lack of infrastructure for now. Because with respect to the uh, passenger car, they, the, the, the truck driver cannot find, for example, the, uh, the, the column charger in a logistic way or, for example, in the supermarket where they can stop and they can wait, for example, for two hours or three hours. So the, the main problem is the infrastructure and then also the provider. And then uh, sometimes they have a problem to provide and to have all the electricity they need to feed the, our, our truck. So, the infrastructure is the main obstacle for, uh, for fleet. Thank you, Mauro, for your answer, and good luck with the new electric truck. Thank you. Thank you.